Welcome back. That deadly shooting at Oxford High School in Michigan will forever change that small, tight-knit community of Oxford. More than 30 shots fired over the course of just five minutes would claim the lives of at least four students and injure seven other people. Tonight, we are learning more about the series of red flags that were spotted in the days leading up to this tragedy. News Nation's Brian Enton is live in Parkland, Florida tonight, four years after the deadly shooting there at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Brian. Marnie, we've heard it over and over again from the people who live in Oxford. They're asking, how could this happen here? Well, just four years ago here in Parkland, uh, the people were in this community were asking the very same question. And we have learned that this can literally happen anywhere, and there are almost always warning signs. If some signs were missed, how were they missed and why? The Oakland County Sheriff says they'll investigate what warning signs were missed before 15-year-old Ethan Crumbly went on a shooting rampage in his Michigan high school. We've learned Crumbly's parents were called to the school because of concerning behavior the day before the massacre. And students at Oxford High School say there were rumors of a possible shooting for weeks. I know uh, about a week and a half ago, not last Friday, but the Friday before that, my sister was blowing up my mother's phone, asking her to pick her up from school, saying that there's a school shooting threat. She doesn't want to be here. She feels unsafe. The images out of the Michigan school shooting hit especially hard for Max Schachter. His son Alex was killed at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, almost four years ago. Max, what was your first reaction when you heard about what happened in Michigan? Oh, my, my heart sank. You know, I feel, I feel horrible for these families, three, and now we just had a fourth victim pass away. Max has made it his life's work to prevent school shootings, starting safe schools for Alex and working with the U.S. Justice Department. The U.S. Secret Service's National Threat Assessment Center just did an analysis. They just put out a report where they analyzed 67 of the averted attacks that were prevented. And what we saw was that a, um, an effort to see something and say something can, can prevent these acts of targeted violence. According to that Secret Service report, the specific targets in the averted attacks were classmates 40% of the time, administrators and staff 28% of the time, school resource officers 13%, family 9%, and other law enforcement 6% of the time. But bottom line, the report says school violence is preventable when warning signs are identified. One new way of tracing those warning signs is through cutting edge software that can comb social media for threats and clues. That's one of them that's preventative and certainly would give individuals early, early warning uh, that something possibly could occur and requires additional research. And we still don't know if anything was posted to social media directly related to the Michigan shooting, but the sheriff there uh, does say that the suspect recorded a video where he talked about wanting to kill his classmates. Marnie? They say there is a mountain of digital evidence. Brian, thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.